Hey, what's up? T-R-O-Y, the maker, checking in. Welcome to project number 17. In this project, we're gonna make some phone cases that I found off of Amazon. So this is the phone case that I found off of Amazon. I will link in the description below where you can find it also. It has this adhesive back and it has this aluminum plate right here that you're gonna stick onto the back. So I'm gonna see if I can engrave onto this aluminum plate with my laser. So let's head over to the computer so I can show y'all the design that I came up with to put on these phone cases. So I decided to put a maze on the back of the phone case. I thought that'd be something cool to put on the back of the phone case. So I'm just gonna go over to Google, type in maze, go to images, and you just find a maze to put on the back of the phone case. So once you get that downloaded, I just save mine to the desktop. So if you've been following my channel, you know that I use CorelDRAW. And CorelDRAW has now came to the Mac. But now I can screen record on my Mac to show you guys my designs. So we wanna change this bitmap to a vector. And one of the easiest ways to do it is to go up to trace bitmap, go to outline trace, and I just go to line art, and there you have it. You can see that it, it changes it to a vector. And I always use the delete original because I don't need it anymore. I already did the measurements to make this fit onto the back of the phone case, and the measurements was two and a half inches wide, and it was four inches tall. We're gonna export this as a PNG, and there it is. Laser cut phone case, PNG. So now let's head over to the Glowforce software so I can show you guys how I do it to put it onto the phone case. Okay, so we got the material in here. Since this is an unknown material to the Glowforge, you just gotta go in and just put the thickness of the material. That's how thick it is, like 0 0.01 inches. And you wanna go to add artwork. You wanna upload, upload the file. Once it's uploaded, I don't understand sometimes, but it always uploads like to a larger scale. I don't know how to fix this. I've been working on it. We just wanna scale it down to like four inches close to where we had it, probably a little bit less. You just wanna drag it right onto the material that you're gonna engrave onto. Let's zoom in and we're just gonna center it as best as we can. That looks perfect right there. And I was sitting here thinking about it like, this part up here is so empty. I just wanna put some up there. So I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna put Trudder Maker up here, the name of this channel. So let's head back over to the Corel Draw and make something real quick. There you have it. All right, let's put in some settings. See, I had tried some settings and then we're gonna leave this at 50% with 1000 speed. And so this is what it's gonna look like. So let's press right here. Let's get it ready. As you can see, this project is gonna take 21 minutes and 51 seconds. Let's head over to the laser and engrave it in. There you have it, man. Project number 17 complete. Laser cut phone case, man. If you like this video, man, hit that thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe and the bell so you don't miss any of my new uploads. And I'll see you guys in the next project.